The New England Patriots have officially hired their next defensive coordinator. Well, it's not technically official, but all things point to DeMarcus Covington, the defensive line coach for the New England Patriots, being promoted to that defensive coordinator role. Him and Mayo have a great relationship, and this makes all the sense in the world. And if you're a returning viewer on Patriots today, you would know that I am actually a very big fan of this move. I am Nick Roloff of Patriots Today, and this this is why you subscribe to the channel because not in office today but guess what breaking patriots news happens we'll have you covered when free agency rolls around when draft rolls around this is the place you're going to want to be for everything surrounding the new england patriots so hit that sub button right now albert breer who has ties in new england was the one who kind of broke the news he said all signs point to the Patriots promoting defensive line coach DeMarcus Covington to defensive coordinator per sources should be official early next week. New England has called other candidates to tell them they're out. So this now just leaves the offensive coordinator role and special teams coach as the two major coaching spots and slots that need to be filled. We could talk about the offensive coordinator role more coming up, but I just want to talk about DeMarcus Covington because I think he has done a fantastic job in New England, and I really do like this hire. Like I mentioned, he's 34 years old. He interviewed for a defensive coordinator role last year with the Arizona Cardinals when he was 33. So yes, he is a very young coach, but he was respected by the entire National Football League enough to get an interview last year. So it does make sense that if other teams viewed him as a D.C. candidate, that New England would just promote within and create continuity. I know a lot of people want to go outside the organization for GM and offensive coordinator. I do too. But with defense, that has never been an issue in New England over the past 15 to 20 years. And I know Covington wasn't with us for that entire stretch. But I do think he will be able to keep a lot of the same schemes, the structures in place. The biggest question to me is who is going to call the defensive plays on Sundays. We'll get to that in just a bit. But let me know what you think of this hire of DeMarcus Covington. Do you love it? Type Y for yes. If you were not happy with the news, type N for no. I am happy with it, and I just alluded to that, but he has done a fantastic job. I mentioned he was the defensive line coach for this past season. Well, let's take a look at some rushing defense statistics for the New England Patriots in 2023. Rush yards allowed. They were fourth in the NFL, allowing 1,584 yards on the run. Let's go to yards per carry now. They were the number one team in the NFL in yards per carry at 3.3 yards allowed. Rushing touchdowns, they were tied for 11th with 14th. And if you look down at rush, rushing for first down percentage, that was at 20.8%, which ranked second in the entire National Football League. So this defensive line was very, very good. I know it's not the entire, the D-line isn't the entire reason why the rushing defense was so good but it at least plays a role right like him and Gerard Mayo who's the co-linebackers coach with Steve Belichick last season they worked hand in hand in installing a game plan uh, to stop the opposing team's rushing attack and then they work together on Sundays to adjust through the out the game so the fact that you get to keep Mayo in the head coach spot with Covington as DC well I would expect the defensive line to continue to flourish I would expect this Patriots defense to continue to be elite against the run I'll tell you what I know a lot of people were down after this year because of how bad the offense was we got to find a quarterback we got to get better talent on the offensive side of the ball I expect this defense to be elite again in the 2024 season and you're going to say again I mean this defense was Super Bowl caliber defense I'm not kidding if the Patriots offense could just average 23 points per game this past season which is not elite by any stretch of the imagination that would just be maybe average to above average in the National Football League 23 points per game this team would have won double digit games and been in the postseason without a doubt that's how good this defense was there was a stretch of the season where they literally gave up 10 points or less in three straight games. They lost all three. Like, this defense knew what they were doing. Obviously, Bill Belichick and Steve Belichick were a big part of that. Steve Belichick was calling the plays. Bill Belichick was helping with the game plan. But that's what Gerard Mayo's main role on this defense last year was as well. So I expect this defense to continue to be good. And the thing that makes this 
the most noteworthy to me is that since you are keeping a lot of your in-house defensive guys as the coaching staff, well, a lot of those top-tier defensive free agents are going to be likely to re-sign in New England. You mentioned Josh Uche. You mentioned Mac Wilson. You mentioned Kyle Duggar. Like These guys are going to want to stay in Foxborough to be under Gerard Mayo and Demarcus Covington because they already have a good relationship with them. More coming up in just a second, but I do got to show some love to our sponsor on today's show, which is Prize Picks. Head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS to get a first deposit match up to $100. Comedian Andrew Schultz, rapper Meek Mill, they play Prize Picks every single day. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. Just pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections, and you could win up to 25 times your money. Get started today so you can make some selections for. For tomorrow's games between the Lions and the 49ers, the Ravens and the Chiefs, you know I'm riding with the Baltimore Ravens. I'll take the more than on Lamar Jackson passing yards. He's going to hoop. But you could take my picks. You could take other people's picks. But make sure you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS to get that first deposit match up to $100. That link will be in the description and comments of today's video. All right, back to Covington, and I think the most intriguing thing to me is who will call the plays on the defensive side of the ball. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, Steve Belichick did that in 2023. I would, and and I don't know if he's coming back. Like we always talked about, like, well, I'd love to have Steve Belichick back on this defensive staff, and him can call the plays um, in 2024 if he stayed on staff and didn't follow his dad, Bill Belichick. Well, obviously, I don't think Bill Belichick's going to get a job because the Atlanta Falcons went with Raheem Morris, and I don't really see him going to the Commanders or Seahawks, which are the only two openings left in the football league. So I don't think Bill Belichick's going to be coaching, which means is Steve Belichick going to stay on staff? If he does, wait, what is the play calling situation going to be? Is Covington going to do that for the first time in his career as the new defensive coordinator? Like, I don't think Gerard Mayo is going to do it as a first-time head coach. If Steve Belichick's still on the staff, you're going to demote him and not let him call plays? Like I just think that's an interesting scenario, and I think if you're promoting Covington, you pretty much have said and known that Steve Belichick won't be back for the next season. I would have been happy with him being back because, like I mentioned, this defense has still been good. He's been calling the plays. It obviously would have worked out, but... Why, why would you promote Covington if you expected Steve to be back on staff? I do want to point this out too, by the way, with DeMarcus Covington being the first official defensive coordinator since 2017. We know Belichick did not like to have titles. In his opening press conference when he was introduced to the media, um, Drad Mayo said he's a fan of titles. He believes in titles and was going to name a DC, going to name an OC and have actual titles. So obviously Covington is filling that role on the defensive side of the ball. Now all eyes turn to the offensive side. Um, but I do want to round out and say, I do think Covington will end up calling plays for this Patriots defense. I just don't see another way, um, where they promote Covington to DC and they have someone else call the plays. So I think he will be the signal caller on Sundays in 2024. But now, like I said, we're going to look at the OC. They have now up to nine interview requests for offensive coordinators. Let me pull up that list here just in a second. Um, but it's an intriguing situation to follow. Here are the OC search. Luke Getze, the former Bears OC, which is just would be an absolute disaster. I'm telling you what, that would be a train wreck. Brian Fleury, the 49ers tight end coach. Tanner Ingstrand, the Lions pass game coordinator. That intrigues me. Thomas Brown, the Panthers offensive coordinator. Kind of lukewarm on that. Gerard Johnson, the Texans QB coach, who is a very hot name, and it might be the next Saints OC. He's having a second interview in New Orleans for their job opening. Zach Robinson, the Rams QB's coach slash pass game coordinator, which is probably the hottest name out there right now. And then Nick Cayley, the Rams tight end coach. Uh, we'll probably have a video in the next couple of days breaking down the candidates more in depth and showing you what is impressive about them, what is their drawbacks. But I'll tell you this right now to that quick list, Luke Getze would be a train wreck. He is not good. I watched almost every Chicago Bears football game this season. And I tell you what, 
that offensive play calling was not good. Luke Getze would not be a good hire in Foxborough. I'm going to tell you that. All right, that will do it for today's show. Marcus Covington, the official DC in New England for 2024. Hit that sub button if you haven't already because we're going to have you covered for everything surrounding the New England Patriots. Nick Roloff signing off here at Patriots today. Go Pats. I'll see you on the next video.